Hello everyone, my name is Sumit Goyal and I welcome all of you to BIST Self Learning Broadcast. Today I am going to give you an introduction on Microsoft Windows Azure. So let's start with this session. If somebody asks you what is a Windows Azure, so what answer you will be going to give? So I am going to tell you the simplest answer that what is a Windows Azure. So Windows Azure is basically an operating system in the cloud. So basically what is an Azure? That Windows Azure is a cloud computing platform and infrastructure created by Microsoft for building, deploying and managing applications and services through a global network of Microsoft managed data centers. And it is an integrated operating system for cloud computing that facilitates the management of scalable web applications over the internet. It supports many different programming languages, tools and framework. And the Azure was released on February 1, 2010. So basically what is a Windows Azure? That it is an internet scale computing and services platform in the cloud that allows the application to be hosted and run at Microsoft data centers and it can support it supports both Microsoft and non Microsoft languages and environments. So basically what are data centers like the uh, our keyword comes here that data Microsoft data center what is data center. So basically as you can see here that Microsoft Windows Azure has six data centers and what is a data centers. Uh, we can say that, that these data centers are the hub for everything uh, we offer to the business or at all the storage, networking and computing capacity. Uh, you need to be able to take everything you knew and today and transform those resources into a data center. That is a capable and they are capable of handling changing needs and unexpected opportunities. So basically data centers provide the wide way of online services. When you use one of those services, for example, uh, when you do a search query on Bing, so what happened your request travels from your PC across the internet connected by an extensive scalable fiber optic cable moving in a speed of light to a data center. And what happened? So that data center executes the query and returns the result very fast. So that is the work of the data center. It's like a pool of the data. It is a pool of data through uh, and we can connect to that date those data any of the data center and we can extract the data from there. Okay. So Windows Azure compute offering falls into three main categories like I have uh, mentioned over here infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service. Now what is infrastructure as a service? So I will start with infrastructure service since it is what people are most familiar with. So in short, infrastructure as a service give you a server in the cloud or a virtual machine that you have complete control over it. So within Azure virtual machine, you are responsible for managing everything from the operating system and up to the applications you are running. So basically this mode of operating of, uh, this mode of operation will feel most like a typical on premises virtual machine where you remote desktop into the server to manage it and in, instead of sitting in front of a physical keyboard and mouse. Now the, what are the advantages of infrastructure as a service? So the advantages are that we have the complete control uh, and solution portability. Now next come to the pass. So Azure Cloud basically passes for Azure Cloud Services. Now as an Azure Cloud Services consists of two components, uh, your application file and a configuration file. So together these two elements will spin up a combination of web roles and worker roles. So I will be going to explain you about web roles and worker roles and they are used to execute our application. So with Cloud Services Azure handles all of the tedious operating system details for you. So you can focus on what matters building quality application for your user. And what are the advantages? The advantages are the low total cost of ownership, accelerates innovations and better development operations. Now next we come to, so finally 
we come to the SaaS. So basically SaaS is software as a service. So SaaS applications are built and hosted through third party vendors. So those third party vendors, they typically charge for a certain level of services uh, for X projects and for Y users like that. Right? So Azure websites can serve as a SaaS offering as well. Now we can configure a WordPress, Drupal, OpenX or even PHP BD sites with a single click. No code, no deployment hassles and with a very minimal configuration. So Azure websites lets you stand up these services you need in minutes, not hours or a day. So now as you can look over here, this is the infrastructure of a as a service looks like. So if everything is on our premises, so we have to manage everything, we have to manage networking, we have to manage storage, we have to manage operating system, runtime, data applications, everything. In IS in infrastructure service, we'll be only going to manage application data, runtime, OS and like this and other things are managed by the third party vendors. In platform as a service, we'll be going to manage only application and data and in software as a service or basically we call it as a SaaS. So in SaaS, we are not going to manage everything. Everything will be managed by the third party vendor. Now we come to the Windows Azure role. Like as I told you that I will be going to explain you about web roles and the worker roles. So basically what is a web role and what is a worker role. So as you can see here web role is for web application programming in ASP.NET or PHP. And worker role basically it for performing works on behalf of the web role. Uh, it is used to improve scalability by increasing parallels and a synchronicity. And it is used for background work. So let me explain more about web roles and worker roles with a image over here. So like as you can see here, so you can think that compute as being a container for web role and worker role over here. So like you can see here web role and worker load, it's a compute. So what compute can do, this compute enables uh, us to run application code in the cloud and, and, and allows us to quickly scale our application. Now each compute instance is a virtual machine. Like each, uh, we have the, we can have multiple instances of this compute, so it's like a virtual machine that isolates uh, us from other customer, right? So uh, every customer has a virtual machine, or uh, right? So basically, what are web roles? So web roles are simply front end web applications and content hosted of IaaS in a Microsoft data centers. Now, what are worker roles? What the worker roles do? Worker roles are a part of compute but are not hosted in IAS. Okay? So worker roles run alongside your web roles and are responsible for performing computing functions to support our, your application. So basically, typically web roles will accept some sort of user input and uh, query up and action for the worker roles to process at a later time. Right? So, and we can configure the number of web roles and uh, worker roles and uh, uh, we want to start our application with an auto scale to add or remove uh, addition and resources depending depending on a demand okay so based on a demand we can uh, we can in, in, increase the number of web roles or the worker roles or we can implement the number of web roles and worker roles so basically these are Windows Azure features that Azure delivers a 99.95 compute SLA and enables you to run solutions on the same cloud that power Skype, Office 365, Bing and Xbox and uh, it provides highly scalable and packaged website and basically Azure offers 24 by 7 technical support with engineers constantly monitoring service health. So these are the major brands uh, and they are using Azure as a service, so uh, we have Ma Mazda, we have Milliman, EasyJet, AccuWeather, Lufthansa Airlines and the NBC News, they are using the Azure for their services. So in next session, uh, now I'm going to give you a product walkthrough. So I'm going to tell you that how to create a web application on our local system and how to publish it on a Azure. So for this, first of all, what you, what you need is you need a registered user ID on Windows Azure like I have got so, so I'm going to explain you I'm going to demonstrate you that so let's see how to do that so like I have already logged into my Windows Azure 
login ID uh, in Windows Azure interface. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create first a simple application over here. Okay. So how to do that? So first of all, I'm going to click on new, then click on compute, then website, then quick create. And here I'm going to create a new URL. So let's say I create a URL BISP solutions one two three and at once it will check whether this URL is available or not. So like you see this green symbol, so this URL is available. Web hosting plan is for default one East Asia free and I click on this create website. So you see, you see over here that uh, the website has been created BISP solutions one two three status is uh, it's creating now. So it has been created now it's running and this is the URL. So if I want to access my website from anywhere uh, throughout the world I will be able to use this particular user URL. Now next step is we have to download a publisher profile. So how to download that publisher profile? I click on this BISP solutions one two three. And from here, I down, I click on this download the published profile. So I click on this link and it will download a published profile for me. So that published profile will help me to publish my application or my website which I created on my local system to be published on this particular web URL. So I have downloaded that file. Now I'm going to create a web website or web application on my local system. So how to create a web application on local system? For that I required Microsoft Visual Studio Express 2012 for web. So I have already downloaded and installed it on my system. Then I click on file, new project. I choose the desired language. For example, I'm going to create a web application using Visual C Sharp. Click on web, then click ASP.NET web form application give a name over here web application 4 desired location and click on ok so once you click on ok it will be going to create the application for me right so you see the application has created over here now what I'm going to do is I click on this project name over here right click add new item and I select a web form. I am going to create a web form over here. Select web form. Click on add. So a web form has been added. Now here I am going to write the code. Whatever scripting you want to write. For example, I write here P and uh, hello. Welcome to my first Azure web application. Right? After that, I right click on my project over here web application and click on publish. For here if you remember we have downloaded a published file so what you have to do is you have to select or import a published profile. So I click on import and I am going to import that published profile which I have downloaded over there. So this was the publisher profile. I select this click on open. Next. Now if you see this is the URL basically http colon double slash sample web one two three dot azure website dot net. This is the URL. If you want you can copy this URL and paste it or later on we'll also get this URL. So not to worry about that. Click on next. Next. Now what you have to do is you have to click on start preview. So I click on start preview and it will be publishing over here. So this is basically creating building it so it is building my application and finally click on publish so as you can see here the uh, you can see look over here that it is publishing now So it has been successfully published and you can see here we have got the URL. So I copy this URL from here and uh, this is the URL basically. So I paste my URL over here and what is my web form name? So my web form name is 
or my application name was web form one dot aspx so i write it over here web form one dot aspx and press enter so you can look over here this my application has been successfully published and deployed on windows azure platform now so what is happening now what happened basically over here is i have created one application on my local system and later on with the help of azure i have published my application on windows azure now if i'll share this link with you if i'll copy paste this link with you you can you will be also able to access this particular application from your system because now this application is not on my system it is on windows azure system so it is so anyone can access this application from anywhere if he has got this particular web url so that's a small demonstration of a uh, windows azure that how it works so that's all for this video if you have any questions please do send emails to us i will be trying to resolve your questions and uh, thanks for watching this video have a great day ahead goodbye